Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, a lot of a... Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. I've had a lot of you guys interested in the uh, retracks on the F550, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to actually make them. Uh, I did already do this video once, I know it's coming out to you later, I did uh, say I was going to get this out to you, but uh, I did shoot the video once and then at the end I wired everything in wrong and uh, managed to blow the retracks, so I've had to order some more from uh, Hobby King in uh, Hong Kong, so my retracks have arrived and now I'm going to show you the video how to make them. Uh, first of all, why do you want retracks? Well, first of all, it looks really cool, especially when you take off and lift those legs up. It's uh, it just it just looks cool. Uh, but mainly, uh, the reason is so uh, when you're flying, say with a gimbal, uh, you look down you end up getting the uh, legs in shot and it just ruins the whole shot basically so you want those legs to lift up and move out the way and uh, that's just with a two axis gimbal if you've got a three axis gimbal then that's going to be even worse because uh, if you want to your your camera around you're going to get legs in shot and that so at least uh, if you can lift those legs up and get them up above the gimbal then uh, you're going to end up with some really nice clear images without uh, some horrible legs sticking in the way not that these carbon fiber ones are horrible or anything but you know it's going to ruin your shot so uh, I'm going to show you now what you're going to need and uh, how you're going to build it okay so first things first you're going to need some sort of mechanism that will be able to move your legs from uh, 90 degrees uh, so this is where your actual retracts are going to come in uh, I think these are actually made for things like planes and stuff to have the landing legs uh, lift up and go out of the body uh, inside the body sorry uh, now these work on like a, a worm drive, you've got the motor here that spins like a screw and that makes a, uh, a metal part inside move along and it will make this retract lift up and down and uh, that's pretty good because it's very strong, there's no way of uh, pulling it on like a servo, uh, a servo you can force that and make it move uh, whereas these on this kind of worm drive uh, can't be done. Uh, so yeah, you're going to need to get a pair of these, I've got a two pairs because I'll be building another set for a friend so you're gonna need two retracts obviously you've got two legs now you'll see here that the trunnion is actually uh, smooth now we need to put a thread on this uh, so to do that we're gonna use a tap and die set uh, if you're not sure what one of them is I'll show you now this is a tap and die set basically you use this set to uh, put threads onto shafts or you can actually drill a hole and use one of these and make a thread inside the hole so you can then screw a bolt inside there or whatever you want uh, but with these you can actually screw this down onto those trunnions and uh, it actually puts a thread on there so we can then put a nut on there to hold things onto it so uh, I actually got this from tool station in the UK for under £10 I think it's around seven or eight pounds and it's a nice little bit of kit to have so you can always uh, modify things so uh, go to tool station get yourself one of them and uh, I'll show you now how to put the thread onto these uh, trunnions okay so hopefully you're gonna be able to see this uh, first of all I'm gonna set channel 8 on my radio uh, to switch F which is this 2 switch here it's either on or off so uh, to do this I'll just show you properly um, I'm using my Futaba, I'm going to go into the top menu here and I'm going to go down to function, this is where you assign a switch to what channel so I'm going to go all the way down to channel 8 which is AUX4, at the moment it's set on switch A but I want it on switch F so I'll go into that and then just scroll around until I get to SF which stands for switch F and select it and there you can see that my motor's just there uh, sorry, my retract just kicked in and bent down to uh, 90 degrees. So now when I flip this switch at the top, you can see that the legs lift, well, the retract moves up and down. So we're going to need it in this position so we can add the thread onto here. So I'm going to leave that there. Uh, you can change this switch. If you don't want it on that switch, you can have it on any other switch that you choose. Uh, but this is just a two position switch so I'm going to have it on there and it'll be easy for me to flick on in an emergency uh, so when it's up I've got it in this position so when the switches are back the retracts is going to be down 
backwards so when I turn on my radio basically all I do is push all my switches all the way to the back or to the top if you want and that's my safest way of taking off so my, leg, my legs are going to be down uh, I'm not going to have intelligent orientation control on and I'm going to be in GPS mode so that's how I always do my setups with the switches all up so it's easy to make sure then that everything's configured right by having all my switches up when I turn the radio on so uh, to plug this, as I said, you plug this into channel 8 on your receiver. Um, the yellow wire goes up to the top of your receiver and you have your brown wire at the bottom and that's how you get this retract to work. So I'll just demonstrate that working. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it in that position. Grab my other retract because that's in the wrong position. I can't add the thread onto that yet. So plug it into channel 8 with the yellow at the top. And there you can see that one works fine. Pull that out. Now let's add a thread onto these. Okay, so let's add a thread onto our trunnion here so we can put a bolt on like this. Uh, you've got these different size uh, discs. Uh, basically this is what we're going to thread down onto the shaft and it will leave us with a nice uh, thread to put our bolt on. Uh, we're going to use the M4, so when we finish with this uh, screwing down on there, we'll be able to put the M4 bolts on. Uh, you can pick them up again from Tool Station. I think I got about a box of 100 for about £1.50. Uh, so you're never really going to run out of them. So what we need to do first of all is put a small blob of oil just on the top. This will help the uh, tap and die set go down onto the shaft nice and easy. Uh, you can tighten up this shaft by putting a allen key into here and turning it to the right uh, don't over tighten it because you'll uh, uh, break the thread on those screws uh, but if it's too loose you'll find that as you're tightening onto this uh, shaft here that it will start to spin around and you won't be able to put thread on it You can just see that's starting to put the thread on there. Hopefully this should catch any second. You just start to see it's coming out now the other side with the thread on it. That'll probably do about there. We'll just back it all the way off. And so we have our brand new thread on our trunnion, and if we take an M4 nut, it will go on nicely. Okay, so our next step is to now fit our choice of legs onto our retrap mechanisms. Uh, the legs that I use are the carbon fibre ones. Uh, these are the Taro ones. You can get these from quadcopters.co.uk. Uh, but if you choose to not use the retracts, uh, the ones that quadcopters sell will only fit on your F450. Uh, or you can get them from RC uh, dash quadcopters. Uh, I think that's John White, and uh, you can get these, which will actually fit on the 550. If you uh, choose not to use the retracts, it'll come with the brackets to fit it onto the 550. Uh, but either way, they're basically the same um, legs. It's just that one is meant to fit the 450, one's meant to fit the 550. Uh, they just come with different brackets. So anyway, what you're going to need to do is drill a hole into the end of the aluminium here. Uh, it might be best to use a small drill first. There is a slight line down the center so you can get it marked out nicely. Uh, use a small drill bit first, uh, drill straight through and then get a larger drill bit and then just drill in again straight through and uh, you'll have a nice hole there. Just big enough to get the uh, size of the trunnion through and that's all you need. Make sure that this is dead in the middle. You can see that's slightly off to one side. What's going to happen is when this retract comes up from um, from below and comes up like this, if it's off to one side, you'll find that rather than it being flat, you're going to have it uh, angled slightly wrong and it may uh, touch your uh, 550. So just make sure you do that nice and straight. Uh, now this is a little bit of a tricky bit. You've got to feed this 
through the hole like this put a couple of washers in there and put the nut on there as well right inside that hole uh, I find it's easy to uh, try and balance the nut on there get it just turned slightly so that it um, actually locks onto the thread and then I jam a uh, flat screwdriver inside there to hold the nut steady and I'll just simply screw the retractor in, into the nut and then it'll be on there nice and safe so uh, let's do that now There you can see I've got some washers in there and the nut and I've tightened it slightly by hand. Make sure you don't get your screwdriver stuck inside as well. So you can see now that that is on there nice and firm what you don't want is for it to actually twist around on there that's just about right on there so now once I uh, fix this into the position we'll flick the switch and this sh should uh, lift up nicely up into this orientation Okay, so our next step is to actually fit these retracts onto something. Uh, what I actually used was a piece of aluminium. Now you can get a long, uh, about a meter long piece of this. Uh, it's only about two or three mil thick. And you can get this from uh, Wix in the UK. Uh, for you guys that are watching elsewhere, I'm not sure. Uh, probably just your local hardware store. Uh, you can buy lots of different strips of, uh, of this in different thicknesses. Uh, you can buy this in half or even thicker. Uh, but yeah, this is the actual piece that I'm using. Uh, the length that I'm using is currently just over 19 centimeters, which is seven and a half inches. And then I've drilled a hole. I've gone from the middle and then drilled holes either side of each other, seven and a half centimeters. That's because I'm going to stick this on my F550. Um, so that's about where you want the holes so you can uh, go up through the uh, bottom plate and then what you need to do is actually drill the holes that correspond with the uh, retracts themselves so if you can match those holes up on there what I've done is actually uh, drawn these out on a piece of paper and then uh, drawn them onto here and then drilled through them so uh, yeah, I went through a lot of uh, trouble to try and find the right screws that were going to fit into the top of these. And I went with the uh, M2 uh, 10mm. Now during the, this uh, video, this making of this video, uh, I actually discovered that these stick through just a little bit too much. And what happens is that bar that moves along, actually just as it's about to get to the uh, switch to turn it off, just touches it and uh, it's not really good enough and I want people to be happy with their retracts if they're following this. So what I discovered was uh, this plate here was originally mounted on the retracts somewhere like this and held in by four screws and it just so happens that these screws are also M2 and you'll be able to use these to screw through the aluminium and down into the retrack itself. So that's what I'm going to do now and take my aluminium piece you can choose whatever you want to, to make this. Uh, I just went with aluminium because it's nice and light and it was actually cheap and readily available. So this is a little bit fiddly but we'll, uh, we'll get it in. So you can see one screw in, easy enough. Don't tighten them up completely. Just try and get all four screws in first before you uh, tighten them up. I'm just going to screw the other retract onto the other side for now. Have it so you've got the motor pointing outwards. There's your motor there. Okay, so there we have our main retracts nice and tight on here now. All we need to do is actually stick the bolts that come with the uh, legs, these, uh, these bolts. Stick them through 
uh, whichever way you want, up that way or down the other way, actually done it the other way, uh, where I put the 550 on and then I put these in through the 550 first and then down and then added the bolts onto the bottom, like so. Um, now this is really good because uh, it's customizable. You can make this gimbal uh, work for well work around you basically. Uh, with it being an aluminium, you can drill as many holes in it as you want and um, add extra things. So if you've got your gimbal, you can easily make a uh, piece on there for the gimbal. So here's my lens of aluminium. As you can see, I've got like a, a U-shaped one. Uh, we've got stuff that's about the half the width of the one I've been using. And you've got like box section and once you cut this down it's actually very very light so you could add to your uh, frame or you could add to these legs very easily uh, you drill a couple of holes and put a bolt through if you want or you could even rivet it I've done uh, lots of things with these before okay so I've connected the two retracts now using a servo Y cable basically all this does is take one uh, servo connection and split it into two connections so I've plugged one into either end and then the other end into my channel 8 on my receiver so now hopefully when I flick my uh, SF switch or switch F uh, that it should activate so let's see there you go and back up Okay, so all that's left for me to do now is to actually bolt this to the frame. Uh, I did show these uh, things before, you can bolt it that way. Excuse my phone. Or what I was actually thinking of doing was uh, using these uh, bicycle quick release uh, things. So if you want to make this a quick release uh, system, you could do uh, by using these. You'll just uh, take the bolt off at the top. Uh, these actual ones only have thread to go halfway down. I'll just show you now. The thread only goes halfway down on this shaft, but as you know, we've got our tap and die kit, so we could actually extend that further down. Uh, what I'd probably do is just chop it off to get the length that I want, and then add the thread on, and then I could make these uh, actually a quick release system, uh, which would be uh, pretty handy for uh, getting it around on mobility. So uh, yeah, that's an option there. So uh, let's fit this to the 550 now, and then we'll uh, do a test fly outside.